If you're planning to build a pool soon, listen to this story first. News 6 investigates after Central Florida customers say they were swindled out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Investigator Lewis Bolden is here with a warning. Lewis? Well, Matt and Lisa, the name of the company is Central Florida Pool and More. It says it right there on that truck. But we found out the man behind this business has no license to build swimming pools, but multiple victims say that didn't stop him from taking their money. Marietti Sanchez says she paid for a pool but got nothing. I think we were now victims of fraud and theft. Now the sound of her neighbor's pool is a brutal reminder of what she lost. It's devastating. It's heartbreaking. Um, I can't tell you how it has have affected our family. Sanchez says she and her husband met Omar Gonzalez Arroyo and his wife at Mission Mana del Cielo Church in Kissimmee. She says over the course of a year, their two families developed a friendship. They all came to our house. We shared time in the pool, community pool. We thought we were friends. When Sanchez mentioned she wanted a pool and screen enclosure, she says Omar was more than willing to help. According to this lawsuit she's now filed against him, she paid him $10,000 cash for the screen, then a cashier's check for $25,000, the full price of the pool. He provided receipts with invoices with the name of the company. But then, she says, for days, weeks, and months, he went ghost. Text after text after text, no response. A criminal. You think he's a criminal? Yeah. Damien Castillo is also suing Omar for breach of contract and fraud, saying he paid him $75,000 to build a pool and do work around his home. He says he took the money and never finished the job. And he, he goes to church, I don't know why, doing bad to another people, mm -hmm. stealing from another people. News 6 sifted through court records and found two other people who were suing Omar for breach of contract and fraud. This one for $20,000. This one for $100,000. We are up to like maybe 10 victims that we know of. Adam Burns is a retired deputy sheriff turned private investigator. He was hired by Sanchez to track Omar down. What about Omar Gonzalez Arroyo? But what he didn't anticipate was News 6 being at this court hearing this week. In November of last year, after after allegedly running off with more than $100,000 from various people, Omar stole $300 worth of stuff from Walmart. According to this police report, he was in court to face the charges. We'll pass that case for a few moments. While the judge couldn't hear that case this week, two process servers served him with three civil lawsuits. And as soon as he left the courtroom and saw our camera, he literally ran for it. You owe a lot of people a lot of money. Why are you running? Yes, I would like him arrested. He can't continue doing what he's doing. He's lying. He's cheating people. The Department of Business and Professional Regulation did serve Omar with a cease and desist order while he was in court. Also, the Orange County Sheriff's Office confirmed ever, ever, I don't care how much you think you know them, uh -huh. pay anybody large sums of money before they complete a job. Do not do it. Good advice. Yeah. So when is that man due back in court? He is back in court very soon. In fact, he's back in court at the end of this month on the theft charges from Walmart. And there will be many civil cases working their way through the court system since he was served in mm -hmm. court this week. And I know it's just heartbreaking for you to then have to go out and interview these people who've lost their life savings. Know. And, you know, it's just simple. Don't give them all the money up thousand yeah. dollars. And here's the thing. You think you know people mm -hmm. until they run off with your money. That's right. That's the game okay. right there, right? Yep. Exactly. All right, Lewis Bolden, thank you. Thank you. No problem.